Welcome to the Mindcrack Podcast, episode 111. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Mindcrack Podcast. Hey, hey, everybody, welcome to the Mindcrack Podcast. <laughs> This episode of the Minecraft Podcast is brought to you by Brain Tree. If you're a developer or a manager of a mobile app and searching for the right payments API, check out Brain Tree. Brain Tree's new V.0 SDK makes it easy to support multiple mobile payment types with one simple integration to learn more and try out their sandbox. Go to braintreepayments.com slash Minecraft. I really hope that that is the URL because it says slash show URL. No it is Minecraft. Okay, good. Uh, we do it? We're, no, we're just gonna keep going. I'm just gonna cool. Edit that. Hello. No, yeah, yeah. Okay. We, we're gonna come back with it is Minecraft. So, hello everybody. Welcome. Uh, we have Sevenus. We have Good. Hi. We have me. Uh, a railing couldn't make it. It's super late at night right now. It's ten thirty. That's not oh really gosh. super late, it's so but it, late. Is, it feels it is so late. late. It but does. for a railing, she's on Central Time. Yeah, yeah. I'm on Eastern, true. so I guess it's. One, one for me. Yep. Uh, used to be up late. No, yeah, no. This is this is normal for me. I mean, how we didn't go to bed till four thirty. But today was Sunday so busy night. that I'm like tired. Right. It's been a very yeah. busy E3. For anyone that wants to know, it is currently Wednesday night, and so we're two days. It is Wednesday, right? It, it is Wednesday. Wednesday. <laughs> it is Wednesday. Not for your time clock. I mean, it would be in past midnight. So. Oh yeah. Well, yeah, sure. But yeah, uh, it. Uh, and if you're wondering why we're all here in person. And why there's no one else remote is because it's E3. We're all here in Los Angeles, California. We're in your apartment, as I yeah. say. We're yes. in your apartment. Welcome to my apartment. We were yeah. supposed to be joined by Paws and Beef, but, well, they died. <laughs> they didn't actually die. <laughs> they are why do you keep telling me they're dead? They're dead. I've been mourning for days. It's I finally a, got over a, it. It's a fun troll. God damn it. <laughs> So now you gotta like You know, being a person, it's great to. Uh, I'm, I get to troll you in person now. Yeah, yeah, that was yeah. Excellent. This morning was great. So I drank a lot at the Switch party last night. Um, and this morning, good texts. And what was your question? Oh, you said. Yeah, my badge was in your car. My, your we, badge was in my car. I would, we wouldn't let Chad drive his car, obviously. I mean, because. Right. I mean, not, not that like there was a big argument or right, anything. Right, Because you're but, good uh, Chad left his car yeah. at, uh, at, at, my, at our hotel. And. Uh, I left my badge in his car, and we had planned on getting all together at 10 o'clock this morning to have breakfast before we go and start doing interviews and other E3 type things, and so I had texted Chad, like, hey, I need, need my badge, man. Uh, I just brought this into your car, but that's okay, because you'll be here at 10. Right. I didn't say all you're that. You're going to be here in 10, right? Yeah, and you were like, uh, was it wait, 10? Wait, wait, what, what did I say? I want to see. Uh, you know, you said, my badge is in your car. That was the first thing you said. And I said, oh my God, dude, how are you going to get it? And I took, that as, <laughs> I took that as complete sarcasm. I'm like, oh, oh okay, Chad, well, obviously I'm going to get it by you coming. And then he texted and then you me. Said, and then you, you, you texted me, don't tell good. No, this was, this was after. So, well, no, okay. So here, I'll, I'll run you and through the whole. The first. Yeah, I'll run you through the whole. This is first. All you right. said, you said, you're meeting us here right now, right? I said, um... <laughs> and that's when I looked at Sevenus and said, uh, oh, no, wait, Sevenus is coming down the stairs. Me yeah. and Juicer were sitting on the couch. And I said to Juicer, at any second, Chad's going to walk through that door because he's trolling me right now. And then you come down, yeah, like and that. then that's whenever you would text yeah. him. And then, I, well, no, the, you don't Still know not. the timeline, okay? Damn, so I'm fucking the story So up. I said, are you... What is wrong? I'm getting it wrong. Right, so I said, are you... there. I said, are you waiting on, on us? And you said, yeah, we were planning to leave at 10. I said, I said I'll get there as soon as I can. And then there was a long pause, because basically, on, on my perspective, we're, we're almost there, and we can see the place that you're staying. We can see the sign, and we got caught by a red light. I thought we were gonna be able to like pull up a little bit faster, and I assumed you were waiting in the lobby for everyone. And then, so we get caught by the red light, and it's a while until you send, well, don't worry about it, or you're gonna be here for the UK interviews, uh, 2K interviews. Um, and uh, and so I just ignored that because I didn't want to say. We park and I jump out of the car because I want to like see your face. 
I ran the lobby and you're not there. <laughs> and we went to breakfast. Yeah, and I couldn't find you at all. And so the, I started to get in your ele- in the elevator, and that's when I texted you because oh, I need to you guys? I need to figure out where you were. And yeah. so I was like, "Don't tell him," yeah. but uh, I'm trolling him. But where the hell where are, are you guys? And I said, "We were at the restaurant." Right. And then you came. Right. So it took us a little while to get down there, and in the min- meantime, I was having a lot of fun. I was having a great time with you. But oh, I wasn't I mad at so right? like, oh, I was like, oh, te- Chad just texted me. He's getting in the shower now. And, yes. And, and I convinced you. I finally texted you. Like, don't be. T- <laughs> what did I say? You said, you said, you said, don't be texting Seb. Like, like I, I, wait, what the fuck? <laughs> I don't even know what he said. said that. Or something. Oh, yeah. Don't be texting Seb like I ain't with him, woman. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's like. Don't be, don't be going behind my back. I was making up all these stories about where you Yeah, he just kept going on and on and on. Just like, it was like, it was, yeah. Kind of oh my God. Well, I, I, I told him that you texted me that you were pissed off because. Oh, that's, that's no. I, and then I said, and then you and then I said well as well. We actually had the same idea. Right. Basically, because I was so drunk last night, the, the plan was like, I don't, I don't remember what time I was supposed to get here. Like, yeah. what are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. Um, and I yeah. acted like you were pissed off at him, which is why you stopped texting him. Right, mm-hmm. right. And then, which in reality, I just went. And then that's when he texted face. you, like, yeah. And then you walk in the door. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, I think you were trolling me, you piece of shit. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But you did believe it for kind of a second. Kind of a second. Kind of. I was still very you skeptical. I was still very skeptical. But yeah, after we left and we started going to the restaurant, I was like, okay, this is gonna be late. No big deal. But yeah. Well, I also had the extra bag. Then <laughs> you went and got another. I bag. I had the extra badge, and so like yeah. I was like, "Oh, well, you can just use this to get." Yeah. It. it was really convincing. Yeah, yeah. man, we had it a whole good. plan. Yeah, you guys are assholes. Yeah, wow. it's funny. Today we learned. It's funny. Yeah. So that's pretty much been a three. Hope you guys enjoyed. Oh, yeah, See you next week. wonderful. <laughs> Moving on, ask crack. Uh, do you guys like mind crack? Yes. Okay, we're done. Um, no. Uh, let's. Uh, so what else? What else? Well, is we'll, we'll start at the beginning. Yeah. So I went to the Microsoft. Event you guys didn't. Oh, I thought you meant like the heavens and the earth and. <laughs> it started at the beginning. So, <laughs> yeah, on the first later. day. <laughs> um, now you were here doing things before. Right, because you live here. Right, because I live here. Uh, so I I didn't get to see the Bethesda event except for on the live stream. That was cool. that was Sunday night. Sunday night. That was just. Oh neat. my gosh, that was just mind blowing. I know it was like one thing after another. Yeah, and and the thing is, is it set. Like, everyone was like, okay, Bethesda wins, which is a thing you right. do at E3, apparently. Right, 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 right. You say who wins. And they put the bar so high yeah. that I don't think any of us expected What's anybody else to even come close. funnier is, like, watching that event and then watching Bethesda get on stage at the Microsoft Xbox event was hilarious. It was pretty funny. It was like, oh my gosh, that is what happens when a developer has their own I mean Bethesda is a developer and a publisher but when they have their own conference when they can own the story and they're not just like doing the song and dance that Microsoft wants them to do like that was that was yeah no they did they still did a great job of both but that was amazing to see the depth that they went into in the in their keynote yeah it was lots of gameplay Actually, most of these keynotes, besides Nintendo's, was lots and of Sony. Same, Sony. I Sony was a lot of trailers as well. So much trailers. I didn't think about Bethesda, so I'm not. <laughs> so I'm not <laughs> speaking on that matter. On that matter. Yeah, you're, you're drinking water, right? Yeah, drinking water. water. Yeah. It's pure vodka. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, no. Oh, well, yeah. You don't play Fallout. No, nope, never played Fallout. What else was at the? So exciting! It was such so good. You know, here's the thing. In okay. November. There's so many games coming out in November. Yeah, November 10th is going to be a crazy day. Seriously. Like, <laughs> I don't understand because oh, there have been so many announcements. Like, after Bethesda, we thought that was it. But then Xbox, let's face it, Microsoft killed. Yeah. They no, absolutely killed. Did. Hopefully tomorrow. I'm so tired of hearing about... Are we to talk about this tomorrow? <gasps> no. No, we can't. But... There is uh, something happening. Yes. Okay, it's fine. Uh... Yeah. Microsoft, I think they killed it. Bethesda killed it. Um, wow, I, now that's in my mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, right. That's all I want to think about right now. Teaser! Oh, 
that's the so, best teaser so ever. So exciting. It's really yeah, exciting. something really exciting is about to happen for Minecraft. That's yeah. for sure. Super exciting. Um, Microsoft Xbox UHC confirmed. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. It's actually not the worst of it. I, what, the only thing I don't like about that keeps being brought up from the Microsoft one is the backwards compatibility. Like, it's a big, huge fucking deal. It is a big, huge fucking you're deal. You're getting something. Okay, it is a big deal. It is a big deal. I don't, don't get me wrong. But it's you're not getting anything new. You're getting something back. It's like yes, if someone it's stole your car. If someone stole your car ten years ago and then suddenly they showed back up, you wouldn't fucking give them a blowjob. You would be pissed at them. Depends on how nice of a car was. Well, okay. You, but you, <laughs> what, I'm, what I'm saying is, yes. they're giving them back something they took away. But it was it was not. And they also at one point claimed their hardware couldn't support it. You're getting a software update that's going to allow this to work. I don't know. I think I think. Well, it's a, thing, it's a, they could have had, they could have had to develop the emulator so that it's perfect. I mean, they could have. They, I think this is one of those things where they had when they launched the Xbox, they had a ton of stuff to talk about. Let's face it. And, and I feel like they kept this in their back pocket till they needed it. Uh, yeah, and now you're not going to put devs on that project that's not going to make you no money. I feel like it was probably done. That they just didn't launch it until they feel like they needed a boost or something. And I mean, they let's face it, they killed this conference. Yeah. And that was part of the strategy that yeah. killed it. That wouldn't so. work on me. Which is a funny good last I mean, everything else was great. Don't get me wrong. I love it. everything that Microsoft and Xbox are doing here. Um, the but, thing uh, is, is that, like, one, that one just didn't... While we're didn't. talking about them, can we talk about their booth for a second? Yeah. It is a, it's it's got to be a multi-million dollar booth. It's a city. All those they, booths. They, they built a city, guys. The they built this city. The, 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 <laughs> this city. I was, I, was un I was so unprepared. Like, for the size of these booths. Like, I'm used to PAX. Yeah. Right? PAX booths are like ants compared to the size <laughs> Which of these is, things. <laughs> Twitch is also used to that. <laughs> Twitch, they, tw Twitch is using the same booth yes. that they use at all the PAXs, and it's usually pretty big at all these PAXs. Yeah, it's like one of the larger it's booths. it's a dwarf. There's yeah. no one's in it. It's, it's so, so weird. It's it is very tiny. weird. It's a dwarf. It fits inside of like an eighth of the Microsoft booth. Like, for anyone that even the, Even the 2K booth, like we were walking through it, and 2K is a big, big publisher, but it's not one of like the marquee publishers that I really yeah. think of when I think of humongous publishers. We're walking through. There's like these welded like stairways out with like amazing hardwood floor steps. We're seeing HVAC like like a, a air conditioning and electricians and there's exit signs so that if there's a fire, you know how to yeah. get out of the booth fast enough. Yeah, they're no longer really booths. They are basically buildings. It's buildings inside it's of multi-floor buildings with air conditioning. It's a it's a house. Yeah. They built a house inside yeah. of this inside of the convention. What was center. crazy to me is I went the day before to pick up my badge uh -huh. and uh, uh, Extra Life actually gave me a tour of their booth, their room that they have on top that has windows looking down. That Microsoft building wasn't there. Right, they built a building the day overnight. Before. Yeah. Overnight, they built a building that is fully wired for electricity, Ethernet. It's got full-on air conditioning. Yeah. It was beautiful inside yeah. there. Yeah, mounted televisions and, uh, and sound. Like the these glass doors on rollers. The yeah. whole fucking thing is insane. It's insane. Crazy. Yeah. Insane. Yeah. Uh, I'm Honestly, this has changed so my view nice. on everything so that we do. so funny is my, E3 was my first game convention. So I go to PAX expecting the E3 experience, and I'm like, this sucks. No, this really sucks. I don't know what I was. I was expecting since everybody told me, "Oh, this isn't your kind of thing. This is just for industry." Me too. You know, I was you're expecting. Not, you're not gonna see this. You're, right. Whatever. You're not gonna have fans here, so you're not yeah. gonna have fun. I was like, I'm thinking this is this is awesome. <laughs> like, yeah, no, this is fantastic. Don't like seeing fans, right? And, just, and I mean, there's still some of those, dude. It's just it lets yeah. this kind of lets me be a fan. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Really exactly. I get to be a fan here, and I get to go play games. And I mean, and it's stuff. really hard when we're at PAX to juggle that time. It's a it's a juggling act to find the right amount of time to spend with fans and also still meet with developers and things Which that are going to progress reasons, what we're doing. Why we did the booth is because the one of the things we said is we can have a place for fans and we can also have a place for developers we, to come see. We've told we've said that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we've already we've already announced oh, we're gonna have like, a booth at PAX. I was like tiptoeing like, around that. Up. I was like tiptoeing around it because I didn't know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Said it. yeah, everyone knows we're gonna have a booth at PAX Prime. I don't think everyone realizes exactly why we're doing that, and I don't think a lot of people realize how much time we spend at these conventions 
talking to game developers and talking to hardware manufacturers and talking Making to relationships other people in the industry. Us. Right, in right. Mm-hmm. This is our only chance to spend time with our peers in the industry, too. Not just the people that are making right. the game and the content we're, we're, we're right. exposing, but also our peers. And they're also our friends. And we just Right, start, right. Like, and they will become friends, even if yeah. they, they weren't already. So I don't think people under can ever grasp it fully without experiencing it unfortunately right. like, there's been a few things that have been on all of our minds like the whole time we're here and one of those is the booth because we keep seeing these just it, it's, it's inspirational let's yeah. face it yeah, our Every, booth our yeah. booth right it, yes, it's, it's very inspirational for our booth like right. seeing what these people have done with right. their booth. we yeah. need at least a three story booth right a three story building stories. with air conditioning and rolling window right. doors right. 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 right right I mean how, how big of a space do we have a pack I think it's a 10 foot by 10 foot I think we can fit 10 Stores, so. You know what? Actually, we're yeah, yeah, because like we have, uh, we're supposed to be getting a twenty by thirty, right? But what we ought to do is just get a ten by ten and go to the fucking moon. Just keep building up ladders, ladders. Jay Sano can bring ladders, right? Fire, fire ladders, fire <laughs> ladders. And we can have a fire pole. He'll also be the person who puts. That's a different convention. <laughs> <laughs> oh, was that convention you're talking about? Uh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Talk about that one in Atlanta. You know yeah. that one. Never mind. Well, yes, I yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Doesn't yes, belong on this podcast. Yes, I do. Uh, uh, um, w- uh, was there any booth? Uh, uh, was it exhibits? They put out like crazy um, sculptures. You know, any of those that? Really well, I thought I, I liked. I liked the big monolithic things. Obviously, right. that's very impressive. Right. Like all the EA. You know, EA, you walk in, it's just yeah, right. It's, it's amazing. Yeah. And obviously they planned on that exact spot and they're, what they're doing like, you know, but for me, one of my favorite booths was the farming simulator booth. Oh, yes, yeah. yes, that's on one was, of my tops. It's, it's a farm. That it is. It's run. awesome. It's awesome. Fucking silo with... Uh, they have little actors. I guess yeah. it's not actors. It's like the devs are dressed up as yeah, like yeah. farmers oh and, and stuff like that. I think my favorite that. is the 2K though with uh, the Battleborn guys. I was going to say, and they have the XCOM it's, statue awesome. thing. Yeah, XCOM statue with the Battleborn. That is really cool. Those, all those oh yeah, and this is the Civ. Awesome. Uh, 2K is probably... They've really right impressed me. They've really impressed me this... Pack. Or, ah, I keep saying packs. It's not packs, man. It's not packs. Because, like, to me, like, I, we've done, I skipped E3 last year, I think. Well, you've done every pack. And so we, and we've done every pack. It's like, to me, a video game convention is now just packs. packs. Yeah, right. Um, right. Yeah, God, what, there must have been one other, because I was going to choose the 2K booth. We're doing tomorrow. more 2K stuff tomorrow, right? Right, right. We're going to be playing Battleborn and uh, interviewing with the... Which I called the... Bloodborne. Oh, it was so embarrassing. We get in there. So we, so we had an interview today, but they didn't schedule us game time. So we get in there to talk to the developers of Battleborn. And, and uh, I'm like... Chad's like, oh yeah, I can't wait to talk about Bloodborne. And the guy looks at me and he says, I guess we could talk about Bloodborne <laughs> if you want. I mean, it's a pretty good game. I know a lot about it. And I was like, well, we can talk about Battleborn too if you want. I, I don't know much about it. God, that's funny. That reminds me, Dark Souls 3, uh, which, oh. Dark Souls 3 is like... Did you get any time with it? Not today. I do have a point tomorrow. Good. So I'm very excited. And I hear... That? Uh, it's in the afternoon. Are we doing a... Should that be on the schedule? Hey, we'll work that out after the podcast. We'll do something about that. Uh, Miyazaki is here, the director of From Software, and the guy who does all this. He's the reason Souls game exists. And I swear to God, I will track him down tomorrow. It's <laughs> not a threat on your life or anything. Don't take it that way. Dude, I just really want to the guy that makes those games. I don't think you want to threaten his life, anyway. No. He will fuck you up. <laughs> I yeah, really really want, want, yeah, I really want a picture. He, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I know he's here. An I know he's here. I'm just that's like the one thing I fanboy over is Souls. Mm. I really want to meet him. So let's backtrack. We, we, we we were at the Xbox Xbox we event yeah. the yeah. day before E3 starts. But yeah. not according to Pause. Yeah, so Mon- done. Monday, right? Man, I'm so. He said <laughs> on that live stream. He said on that live stream. This is a really boring E3. Like, like nothing really has been announced. It's like that, oh. and we had that argument about it not being started. So much more has been announced. Oh yeah, yeah. There's tons Crazy. of announcements that I don't even I like, lost track, obviously. But yeah, it was right. it was really funny how it was just like it was boring. It's like we haven't even hasn't even started yet. This is this is like pre three. Pre three. You need trade more. <laughs> That's a really good idea. And P lowercase R three. Three. Yeah. Oh no, my like god. Three, yeah. And we need to pitch it to them. And okay, let's do that tomorrow while we're there. We, we oh my gosh. Game? So, 
Let's talk can about we trademark it. Trademark that before. <laughs> Seriously, no, this is the best idea ever. Before we publish this, yes, we need to. We need to. No, Kmart took a fucking lot of money and a lot of time. <laughs> because lawyers, <laughs> lawyers. Um, you know, CES. There's always like pre CES things. Pre CES. There is. That's not what they call it. But yeah, there's like <laughs> showstoppers or digital experience or companies. Basically, they cannot own a full CES booth, and so they go in and they get like a table. And they make it look nice, and people can walk around and look at the the gadgets. That's exactly what we need. <laughs> well, we're gonna start our own convention, the pre three. Totally, <laughs> it happens. It happens the day before E three at the oh. uh, at the Econo Lodge. No, totally. <laughs> no, totally. At the cheapest hotel. <laughs> totally. 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 Everyone gets a cardboard table or a card a card table. Yeah. They have to bring it themselves. Obviously. I can explain. Where are the tables oh, from? What are you talking about? Uh, and so catering cool. will be IHOP. It's <laughs> pretty sweet. Who's gonna do security? Uh, Bert. <laughs> yeah. You know, Bert. the security guy. We'll bring Pyro over to do security. <laughs> Pyro. <laughs> what you what mate? You what, you what mate? You what? See how swole I am? Can you see how swole I am? <laughs> so Xbox on. Yeah, it was Xbox like in the it. morning, and then honest. Let me be honest with you. Like, I don't even remember the orders of things because we did, we, we so got so much. Well, we landed on the plane so that much. day too. We were on the plane whenever. Okay, let's talk about that during the Microsoft thing. So I had a flight from Seattle down to here, which is a two hour flight. I paid the $16 for Wi-Fi so that I would have Twitter during it so people would tweet at me what was going on. Really? I did. And that's where I found found out that they announced Dark Souls 3. Mm-hmm. And I was so pissed. Because like, you missed the announcement? I was so pissed. So did the person next to me live? was smelly as hell. First off, okay, he was The rank. smelliest? <laughs> like he was, oh my god, I gotta sit here for two hours. Was he like homeless? It smelled. Yeah. No, so he, he has a plane. He's on a plane. Oh, he's on a plane. Yeah. What's on a plane? No, you're no longer homeless. No, no, he's stinky. He was like, stinky, stinky. Like I, I've absolutely sat next to a homeless person on a plane before. How did he get on the plane? But he had. <laughs> he, I don't so know. He handed on a plane ticket instead of money. So it's not like homeless people. <laughs> homeless you got his spare didn't change. Have money. Fucking ticket, though. You take his shit. <laughs> get out of my city, you fucking bum. <laughs> Oh, no, no, I, I'm not. No, 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 I would never. I'm just talking about the asshole that gave no, him the no, plane no, ticket. No, no, no. Anyways, he was really stinky. And I saw the words. I forget who it was that tweeted it, but somebody says, OMG, Dark Souls 3. And, and you I screamed. Oh, really? I and, thought you were this, this smelly asshole turns to me and says, can you be quiet, please? Are you serious? Yes. I'm not even kidding. I was like, oh, my God. I, said, I did that. I said, oh, my God. And... Can you be quiet, please? What did you say to him after that? I'm like, you smell bad. I said, I, I said sorry. <laughs> you told him. Oh my. Yeah, you got him. Sorry. I thought you were going to go like, oh, no, I, no, no, I tweeted about his smelliness. That's how I gave that. <laughs> yeah, you I showed him with Twitter. Like, oh, this smelly oh, motherfucker told me to be quiet. 10,000 people will know of your stink. God, it was horrible. Mm. Like, I can't. Being trapped on an airplane when that was announced was like, Traumatizing to me. What if your plane had gone down, but you survived, and you were like stuck on a fucking island or something? I mean, it'd be really hard between Seattle and yeah, here. Yeah, but let's island. pretend like you like <laughs> you got a detour. You know, there was no air construction. Now I did had no info, more information. Right, no more information. Yeah. But you knew it was coming, and you couldn't get to it. And I couldn't get to it ever. No. God, that, what a horrible way to <laughs> end your life. Oh God. <laughs> Did anyone see anything from the Ubisoft announcement? I was on a plane. I, was, I don't know. I, don't, I feel like I was, I was just a really long I plane ride. I was driving in the, LA traffic. The, uh, the, the, so there were some like cringiest moments of E3, and some of them were from this one. It was from Ubisoft. Uh, she, really? Uh, what's her name? Aisha was doing Aisha it. Aisha. Right? Did doing she it make it. a scene again? Oh, she didn't make a scene, but there was some awkward, like, she was like, so we're, um, there's this developer, and he's going to talk about this thing. Take it away. And she walks off. And he's like, okay, well, blah, blah, blah. And then she goes, back, <laughs> great. That was like, it was like, it was, wow. there was some really awkward, awkward moments. And then, were, you, were you at it? No, I watched the, okay. uh, it after. They didn't really yeah. give me any invites. They were turning people away, actually, from the yeah. UB thing. Yeah, and I didn't get one to EA either. That was next. That was next. That was next, yeah. Uh, did they do anything sports related? They probably had a little. Uh, they did everything sports related. Sports related. They, the big FIFA thing, 
And that's Pyro, that's Pyro and Milby like freaked out. Over I love FIFA. I don't freak decided. out either, but um, I like it. Oh, 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 oh! The other funny Ubisoft cringe moment was she sits next to this guy who's cosplaying, and she's like, "You, you look she like." She went into the stands, yeah, and she was in the audience. She goes, "You look like a, a full size meme." A full size meme. You're like that. Yeah, you're like a a body meme. Like, you know this 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 has been a meme filled conference, hasn't it? I'm just gonna say something right now. Maybe this is why whose line is anyway getting cut. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> maybe maybe. Oh. And then geez. the other she was like, let's make up a meme now. It was like, oh my! It was I'm pretty bad. sure she she succeeded bad. in that. Based on yeah, what you're no, saying, she made a meme. She, she got herself a meme. She I remember meme. Her, her girl would the first time, right? She did hashtag girl oh, would stuff. Yes. But she was at, at least somewhat competent, right? During it, this one she was just off the rails. I mean, no, that was the awkward moment. She was pretty on it, like okay. the rest. But but there was awkward. There were definitely moments, awkward though. Awkward moments. Yeah. 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 No joke. So there were four that day. What was the last one? Sony. Oh yeah, Sony, right? With the yeah, we got to go to that one. I didn't tell you. Oh, you didn't go. That's I, right. I didn't go. And that, yeah, I didn't have a ticket. So what did you? So first. Oh wait, wait, wait. Can we go back to the Xbox for a second? Yes. I'm sorry. I remember <laughs> a tweet saying, "Holy shit! There's a car coming down from the ceiling." Yeah. Tell me what happened here, because I didn't actually didn't actually see it. So what's so? It's for Forza. Forza, yeah. Forza, and it looks like Ford bought like a sixty percent of the Forza franchise. Like they just bought six percent of the stock in Forza. Kurt is dying right now. And, <laughs> and, he, right. and so they introduced Forza, and their signature car is this is half million dollar uh, GT. Yeah. And it's sexy. It's sexy as hell. And this one car just and just comes down from the ceiling. So was it unexpected? Lights. Did they like say like, "Oh, here's a car"? It was just it just happened. <laughs> most people recognize happened. them. Yeah, <laughs> most they know what it is. Now. <laughs> yeah. Did you imagine being the people under it? No, there was a big ass uh, Microsoft lo- or uh, Xbox logo. And can you imagine if something oh, had fell landed. in the fucking thing? And it like, touched crashed. the ground. Wow! It came out and then it out. drove off. It did not. No, it went right the fuck back up there, and it was yeah, it was stored up there. Um, it's, it's, some say it's still there. Could you imagine being <laughs> the rigging team? I know. Hey, uh, we need you to hoist this half a million dollar car up there. <laughs> <you> drop <laughs> it. it made anything you're screwed. screwed. <laughs> I mean, imagine if it like it was coming down a platform. You know, there's four wires or whatever. Imagine these two break. So not only does it fall, Whoa. it kills some people. It swings. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow, that would be a different press conference. That would have really <laughs> that would have ended out. Yeah, yeah I think. Like, yeah, Xbox wouldn't have killed. Well, they would have really. Well, they would have, they would have really, really killed. It. Really killed. It. <laughs> I mean, we actually, actually it. saw that car in the Xbox. Yes, yeah, yeah. same car. And it's gorgeous. Sexy. You're, you don't get a hard on for these cars. It's not a Beetle. I think it's amazing. <laughs> it's looking. not a Beetle. <laughs> Jordan kept going. Dude, why are you not excited? I'm like, mm. oh my god. I've never been that close to that expensive of a car before. Really? Ever. Yeah. We need to talk. The, we wait, wait, wait. We have we have on. to talk about the the Minecraft Hololens. We stuff. do. We have to. Otherwise, I mean, that's the biggest thing we'll talk about. We have to talk about that portion. Um. So let's talk about it. Yeah. So Lydia gets it. gets on stage. There is oh, a yeah, desk. Yeah, Lydia is coming out. Yeah. There's a desk. There's nothing on it. They show off HoloLens, and this is I, this is the first time I've seen a demo with a camera to see exact that isn't pre-rendered. That's live. That's obviously live. How I'll link you they, to that video where they did it in Germany. Remember where the guy was in the he was in his in, in, a, in a pretend apartment and he had oh, a fake dog and all that. But that was the that, HoloLens. Was that pre-rendered? I thought no. it was pre-rendered. No, no, no that was all like, live. How did, they had a that camera guy live. out front in front of it, or but the camera's basically wearing uh, the the HoloLens so right. that it can it, it's projecting on the screen what the person with the HoloLens okay, want to see. Okay. Um, so and we but this project? is the first. This is the first time they've shown it with Minecraft. Right, right, right. So right, we've right, seen right, it before, right, right. but not with Minecraft. What did before. they project? When Minecraft? No, which time just, are you talking they, you about? You can't just project Minecraft. Was it like a house on it, or it like was it they... was the world. So it was a mobile world. So Lydia came out with a surface because she's because Microsoft, right? And then um, and then she was like, "Oh, this is great," but uh, and there was a guy playing with, I think it was either Xbox version or something behind them. Mm-hmm. And then turns on the HoloLens and the desk that they were using, a border goes around it, and the world they were just playing in 
comes it does this really cool animation where it, it was it, yeah sand sort of pooled in and then the sand fell and the world came out from from the bottom of it were here's the thing Lydia on her surface was still in the world and so he got this really cool view and he could it was pinch. multiplayer like it was multi it was multiplayer so like at one point and the camera guy can like do whatever the hell he wants so like that here's a table and uh, it, was, it was really hilly and so he put his camera in and you can like see a tiny Lydia like looking up at the guy with the HoloLens like if you're where, my question has always been this mm-hmm. if you have a HoloLens for Minecraft how do you play Minecraft like so, how do you interact in a way it was very spectator Minecraft? it was very spectator so the person like. the person like. who was with the HoloLens could do easy things like zoom in, zoom out, pinch, drag, look under the world. They did this thing where they, I was like, that's so cheap and cheating. But they looked under the world and found a cave or whatever. Um, but he could also do things like strike lightning. Um, and I assume. But you're not, you can't like build, like, you, you can't do traditional things that you would do in Minecraft. No. Like, think about this application for the HoloLens. Um, this is just uh, speculation. Uh, it would be kind of cool if. We could record like a UHC with the HoloLens. Think about the people with the HoloLens, not necessarily as a player of Minecraft, but as a spectator or the god of Minecraft. And so, let's say we do a UHC and it's recorded with uh, the HoloLens. It's like, or with the technology that that, that translates to the HoloLens. So now you want to watch our so UHC watch and instead UHC, of watching it up there, actually watch, you watch little our whole people world. like walk across. Right, you see the whole world and you're basically there at it. You zoom. Oh, there's right. pause. Zoom in on pause. Or, or this pause is literally doing? this is like you. So take Minecraft out of it. This is like literal Hunger Games holographic technology stuff you see in movies. Yeah, I, I, what I'm seeing is of that like they're using makers. Minecraft as a way to bridge to gamers. Yes. That it's basically just putting virtual things into your world. It's right. not like playing it. It's not for playing a game necessarily. Right, right, right. It's not, it's not like I'm going right. to grab some but sand and move it over here. For a virtual clock on the wall. And right. Well, that's, that's the right. demos I've seen previously. Stuff. That's exactly what it was. A man is in... Basically, their their vision is a house with white walls and furniture, and then everything beyond that is on your in your visor. Like, a, oh, I want a TV up here. Bam! Like the demo I saw was actually really pretty awesome because he started moving through his house, and he he, he pulled the the TV off the wall, and it, he just fought fought alongside him. Um, so anytime he looked over, and there it was. He's watching TV. You could like poop. You could so you could like yeah, have you just TV yeah, you, you just, just bring it around poop. the house with you, and not only you that, make a new TV. Yeah, like, uh, you have a TV here. Right, right, yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah. That's what he did. Time. Like he had a TV here, and he's like, well, you know what? But what do you do? Somebody he's, else. Like you would open a second application of a Windows Media Player and then plop it up over here. But think um, about this. And then he had a, he wanted to call his family. He popped Skype up up here, and he had all his family. A contact center, you just touch them and then you call them right up. Network? If you had two HoloLenses, could they expose Both the see same the same world? thing, yes. Now that's awesome. See, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> that's, think about this, think about this. So you have your HDTV in front of you and you want to play Civilization or whatever. And now, instead, it, like part of your tools are sitting next to you. Yeah. So you have the, eight, the, the high screen, high definition screen in front of you. And then you look to your side and you can like... You're just like, uh... You mean in real life. In real yeah, life. That's in real life, and everything mm-hmm. else is not. Totally. But that doesn't have to be in real life either. It could be a HUD. It, it doesn't, doesn't have to be in real that life. That could be in your... And so all the stuff around you, though, like, if somebody else came in the room, they could see all the stuff around you still. If, if they, they were wearing, if they were wearing yeah. it in HoloLens. Well, I, I mean, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> or if they were tripping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> that's... Like, possibilities. Like, right, like, this one... And the reason thing, is, is because, holy crap, and, like, it... From the demo of the of the of the camera, it's like those blocks are solid. You can, they're so opaque, you cannot see through them, and everything else seems very clear. I hope that the lens is actually like that. I don't now know. this is a this is a big device. Bigger it's not device. it's not as big as like the Rift. But I think that it's something that's going to get smaller and smaller because people are going to want it built in like a Google Glass type think, of thing. Do you think they're going to want it built into their eyes? I think I want to put it into their eyeglasses. I mean, sure, if we could be bionic and have the shit in their eyes, sure. Could you imagine? Yeah, but I mean, also, like, think about the RFID pushback. Let's not even, let's not go down that road at all, please. Um, I, yeah, I would like to keep it external for a while, because I don't want to go under, to, under the knife to get a new upgraded firmware, like, <laughs> to get, like, no, it'd be wireless, higher honestly. definition. God, can oh, you yeah. imagine? It's like yeah. Apple every year, there's yeah. new eyes coming Everyone out. Everyone has to go get surgery now for new eyes. Yeah. yeah. 
Damn. Yeah, I'd like this to keep it. This is actually gonna happen, though. No, I think well, it sure. is. Eventually. Um, but I think that's a full bionic body. Like next year's E3 will be bionics, obviously. Obviously, so, obviously. Technology yeah. advances quite fast. Right. Like one of the cool things What's in the, the, and we're not talking about E3, but the the Hololens. By the way, the, we're not talking about this because Microsoft gave us any money. Like we're this is just like exciting. Yeah. I kind of um, wish they did though. <laughs> I kind of well, sure. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I mean, yeah, just, we'll take your money if you yeah. don't want it. I say no to money. <laughs> but uh, we you did not just, take any you of this need stuff. to say that with like a, like a <laughs> we're not saying no to money. I just want you to know that Microsoft. So you could pay us. You were saying something. Although I don't, you couldn't pay us to say good things. I guess just pay I was, us. I just have more examples of shit. Like money. I had this house that was cool. Like yeah. he was going to Hawaii, and it like it had like a picture of the beach he was going to be staying at on his thing, and like the surf was Why coming up go? in the time. Why? No shit, right? <laughs> I, no, this no. kind of paints a really depressing future of people who uh, have uh, people just come. in a white room. Yes, it's like right. a just legit white room that has like yeah. ways for to morph furniture and stuff like that yes. in the floor yes. embedded. Like walls, even that, food and shit. Like walls like that have little holes in them. I can imagine so that you can get a breeze. Like it can make a breeze. Smells right. Yeah, no, right. that's actually fantastic. And everyone's right. just going to live in like all his clocks in his in his house or in his visor. Yeah. I think this is fantastic. Everyone's just going to live in little like shoe boxes. I mean, honestly, them. how does that? My question is, how does it change? And then it turns into the matrix. <laughs> Think about how that changes the landscape of everything on our planet, though. Think about manufacturing of everything. China ain't gonna make all the digital shit that we're gonna be installing in our houses. I mean, they might, but it ain't gonna cost as much as it does. I, 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 I hate to tell you, but like most will. concept <laughs> art, most concept okay. art is sure. done in China. Sure, they will, but it probably won't have a good warranty, so you don't <laughs> want that one. But no. just, I mean, right. let's be honest. Like, if you, if, if, if you don't need to buy an actual TV, all you need is this this visor, and now you. Your entire house can be furnished digitally. Wow, how expensive is this visor going to be? Because it replaces a lot of stuff. I know. That's what I'm saying. This thing is it's revolutionary. Not anytime soon. Let's let's face that. Wow. Right. But the problem is, you do have to wear it. That's a good. I think it's going to be built in your eye. You do have to wear it. Yeah, that's the problem. That's a I wear these all the time. It helps me see. Yeah, but that. I'm telling you, it's going to keep getting smaller the and smaller. With those is, I mean, even your perif. Like you gotta be able your to your perif. See. That's not yeah. a word. <laughs> It's totally a word. Peripheral vision. Peripheral. I don't think they can shorten that. You can. What else is perif gonna be? You can I understand, it but you're trying to make a word that doesn't <laughs> exist. Anyway, go ahead. In your peripheral. In vision. your perif, you need like you're not gonna see the TV or whatever, and that's jarring. I guess like with those, you would notice when there's not a TV. It, I would, it would annoy me. Like would you like over here? Yeah, it would annoy me. Do they can they can wrap a little bit. I mean, it's still not be a fucking or the thing. Or you know like the Hololens. Yeah, yeah, exactly. 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 It like could. Like tanning glasses. Here's, right. here's how they solve it with the HoloLens. Put a little piece of black plastic where the lens stops, and then... But then you're like a horse. I was about to say, you're putting blinders <laughs> on? Is that your suggestion? No, they could. The, the lens could just come around, guys. It's okay. No, it, it, I think Deus Ex style is like... That's what I'm saying, saying. yeah. That's, that's how like his really glasses close, are. Really yeah, really like close right upon, and yeah. then... Can we talk about uh, Deus Ex? We right. went and saw a preview that didn't break for Deus Ex. <laughs> yes. Probably didn't break. Didn't break. I thought it looked fantastic. It, it looks was really good. I'm, I'm sad that I haven't played any of the other games. You know what I've learned since I played Bioshock? Everything's Bioshock. And I didn't realize that all the I mean, good games I've never played are all Bioshock. I mean... If but you different. Play, if but you different. played another game first, you'd say Bioshock was that. Right, game, right. So. Okay, but what came before? What what happened before two thousand seven that the Bioshock got you its ideas seriously from? Seriously, think I'm going to remember before oh. the year two thousand seven anything? <laughs> well, I didn't know. I didn't know. President. I know that much. Who was? Oh, the uh, uh, shit. No, I knew. I knew. I knew. I was trying to play off that. I don't remember anything. I just want to know. Let everyone know that I know who was president. <laughs> Obama. Okay, sorry. This has gone really Political. down the wrong trail. Yeah, we're and now from the White House. I mean, I, I mean, Bioshock was pretty revolutionary. That's what I'm wondering. Like, Bioshock's great. I mean, that's the thing. I never played it, so I didn't. I never recognized these similarities in all these other games. Uh, like, it's not the, all the modding, same. the looting. Yeah, yeah. They're not the same. I, I mean, know they're not. It, it's just. That but it takes a lot of similar RPG. ideas. I mean, it's not like it's... That's just a genre. I think you're describing just a genre. But what game did... Included... All the... The mod, body modification, the hacking, the combat... It's Bioshock... 
It's Bioshock. It's Bioshock reskinned. Yeah. It has all the aspects of Bioshock other than the same storyline. You know what I'm saying? And like, there's no other game. No, there are other different. action RPG games, but I mean, they don't you can say combat. But it's different combat. Like, I mean, I I agree that Bioshock definitely changed and inspired a lot of games, but I don't think it's combat. I, I don't think I saw. No, I'm not saying that. I guess I didn't realize the similarity. I, I didn't know that. I, I didn't, didn't know know either. I think it's its own genre. I think it created. I don't know if it created, but it, it helped form the explorer a genre action game. first person shooter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I'm excited about. About Deus Ex, I like the idea of I called it charisma combat, yeah, and stuff like that. Yeah, that was- yes, because a big thing was like I tried to basically play the whole game stealth, and then there was boss battles where it didn't matter. And so if I had leveled up stealth and not combat, well, sorry, now you're in a boss battle combat situation, and all your level, like all, even though you ignored combat, sorry, you're forced to. Yeah. And so... Well, now there's, there's the whole... Like, you get achievements and things for not killing. Right. Like, if you go the whole thing, like... It's probably, like, in Dishonored, right? The hard, the hardest way to play Dishonored is full stealth without no kills. Yeah. Non-lethal stealth. Oh, Dishonored 2 was announced, and mm-hmm. I got so freaking hard from that. That's not here or there. In Deus Ex, you can kill beat bosses just using talking and charisma right. and things like this so that right. you don't have to kill them. Right. Right. Which I is really like that. Pretty awesome. How right. many games are there? How many Deus Ex iterations? Is this three or four? Maybe. Uh, well, okay, so Maybe the newest four. generation, like, the, what do you mean generations? How many Deus Ex? I didn't say generations. Has there been? You oh, said that word. Where there was said I said iterations. And Sorry. One more iterations. Than one. So there's like, four maybe? Yeah, but the first two are like really old. Oh, okay. Like really, really, really old. I see. Yeah. Like I think I, I just missed like I guess I was busy with other things and I missed a I missed a a, a block of gaming and during that time that's like the Bioshock like there's the a Day block of gaming I think I was missed. always PC too. Hmm. So, well, yeah, I think. Yeah, it might have been. Um. So. Yeah. There's another reason you might have missed it. But yeah, the the Deus Deus Ex. Why is that? I don't know. I assumed you weren't a PC gamer. I don't oh, know. I've had a PC since Commodore. Right. I, right. <laughs> I should have known that about you. Um, yeah. I should have known that about you. I should have known. He's a PC gamer? He's old. Commodore. Com- yeah. The Commodore. Yeah. Ancient. Yeah. You young. I'm going to pee in your bathtub again. Stop. <laughs> again. Like, implying you did the first time. Um, yeah, I'm excited about Deus Ex a lot. Yeah, I think I'll play that. Yeah, we got a, that was a private showing of that, which is pretty cool. They were like, you know, very animate. Don't you dare film this. Yeah. yeah. Another one that that happened was um, Tomb Raider. Laura Croft. Yeah, yeah. Tomb Raider. Which is, um, I'm pretty excited about that. I haven't played a Tomb Raider game in a long time. I was going to play the last one, and then Kurt, like, gave it such a bad review. It scared I me. I the last one. And that's what everyone said after I started tweeting about this, and they were like, don't listen to Kurt. Um, I, I really enjoyed it. So, yeah. I thought the last one, I did I did watch some of Kurt play, and I was like, man, all these quick action things, but you were saying that it worked really well in that one. I think that there, there was definitely quick time events, and I think they worked well where they did work. It wasn't like something that, it, all the quick time events were unique, as in, if I remember right, there wasn't like something that you just constantly did over and over that involved quick time events. Mm-hmm. Like the quick time events were all basically during cinematics and like they were part of the story. It wasn't like something where, okay, every time I jump now I have a quick time. Yeah. One thing I noticed about this is uh, with this being the rise of the Tomb Raider, I feel like they got a lot of inspiration from Last of Us. Um, the character looks a lot like... Uh, God, the, so much like Ellen Page. Yeah, so much like... It's like an adult is, Ellen Page. Which is where they... Well, I mean, that's what Last Ellen of Us ripped off, too, was Ellen yeah. Page. Um, I mean, Laura Croft last time kind of looked like that, so... Sure, but now we have the Last of Us crafting system. Um, I don't know. It looked like Last of Us. Was there... Was, did Tomb Raider add I mean, this crafting the same crafting system? system? Pretty similar, yeah. I mean, they, it's, it's, it was pretty much the same. It was a little bit more in depth now. They just keep on adding a few layers. Mm-hmm. So who did Val- Naughty Dog develop The Last of Us? Uh, right. Yeah, I thought that sounds right. I just made like that. That was just no. The that's first not right. Naughty Dog is a uh, um, that, that game that Beef played. Uh, I don't know who made Last of Us anymore. I forgot. Look, look. Maybe it is Naughty Dog. I don't remember. I cannot remember. We're terrible. That. We're terrible people. Um, we know nothing about video. Why do you guys listen to us? For advice? Yeah, Naughty Dog. Yeah, Naughty Dog made Last of Us. 
So who's making Laura Croft? Uh, that would be it's published by Microsoft. Yeah, I don't know the developers there. I don't know. I thought it was it was good. So we had a private showing in there as well. We got little cool little badges and yeah. things. Yeah, we got really all the Xbox things has so, been really fantastic. Oh, right after that, we played Fable Legends. Yep, yeah, and that was awesome. Which was. A ton of fun. It's it was basically really fun. It's, it's basically Fable Evolve or Evolve Fable Edition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's fun. It's yeah. really good. Did you? So the 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 bad guy has much more of like a god god view. Yeah, it's and like, he's sending yeah. minions. Oh, really? Okay, so it's not yeah. like Evolve where it's he's running around. It's not like there. he's a boss. Okay, so he's got kind of like, like, he, a, like, like he, RTS type like, of. Yeah, there's like thirty seconds or whatever uh-huh. where you can plant. Things like different right. uh-huh. creatures and whatnot, decide waves, that right. sort of stuff. I see. And then while we were going, you can do things to those people. Yeah, I see. I see. Yeah, it was really fun. It was <laughs> us four um, as the good guys, it was and good. we died almost. We got very close. We got very to close to. And we actually won in the end. Yeah. And uh, it's not made, but by the way, just to follow up on Resident Tomb Raider, it's made by Crystal Dynamics, Nixus Software. Those are the developers. No, there it is. Sorry about that. Uh, um, yeah, I, I thought it was a lot of fun. I really liked. So I was Glory, I think, and I really liked Glory's abilities with the throwing potions. I was thing. Rick, I think, or Rook. I was Rook. Did you win? I was the range guy, and and the the. So I, our bad guy was, I think, a developer. Who was the, the bad guy? Who played the I bad? Don't oh, well, you were the bad guy. Um, oh yeah, but the developer was like developer was doing. right next to you. Yeah, afterwards he was like, he was so annoying. <laughs> just broke that third wall. Yeah, you, and so you want a cape? Basically, <laughs> yeah, yeah I, cape. I want a cape. I don't Which know. Oh, it's in my car. It's you gave it to me to carry around, so I had this fucking cape. In What's my funny is I didn't all even, day long. I didn't but even, it was all sweat covered because you go like I didn't even covered your think face that I was giving it to right? you like to carry. I just like handed it to you, and then it was gone. And oh, it wasn't. You gave it to him to keep. I don't. I, I gave it to him. I, I there was no motivation behind it. <laughs> and then later, bring shit to this set. Later, you were like, "Oh, look, I have a cape." And I was like, "The cape? Like, I don't remember." Oh well, yeah, we got the Twitch party. I'm like, "Let me get all this shit out of my fucking pockets." Yeah, it's so funny. Yeah. Last night, there were a lot of parties. You went. There to were the a YouTube lot of parties. Party. We didn't talk, hold on, wait, before, before we go there, we let's finish off the Xbox tour. We had to play Cuphead. Everyone's talking about this Cuphead game, oh. and. Everyone's really excited that is about a good it. Point. It's got to be the art style everyone's excited about, right? It's the Steamboat totally. Willie stuff. It's, 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 the style. Fact, it's the fact that basically it's Mickey Mouse on alcohol. Like yeah. lots of it's alcohol. It's Mickey Mouse style, but you just fight really boring bosses to me. I mean, well, some people like yeah, it. Yeah, the, well, the, 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 the boss mechanics, mechanics. I mean, oh, what are you putting this on? You can't have that. <laughs> for this one. They were um, very boring boss mechanics, I think. I don't know that we got to see enough of the game to, to, to speak on it. We Because like, we don't know the bosses. narrative. We don't know how yeah, we, we just like that jumped into the game. That, that was, there was a narrative. That's what I wonder. I wonder if we, we should have rebooted that Xbox teaser. to see yes. what we were going to get. Because yes. like, we, we just sat down and like on a couch and then we started playing. From what I saw, there was just a map and you would walk to different places and kill bosses all the time. In the trailer, it seems like... Like these cupheads made a deal with the devil and they lost. And now, in order to save their lives, they have to do the devil's bidding. So they're going around and causing havoc, basically. Killing carrots. Killing carrots. <laughs> Killing carrots. <laughs> e- and why is the carrot so evil? I don't that know. That carrot deserved to die. Oh, yeah. He deserved to die. Can we can we just talk for a second about like the age of the people playing this game? That's my concern if because a kid played that and saw that carrot? I know, vegetables are done. I, that I, carrot is like worse than the most horrific clown <laughs> I've ever seen. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. That is a terrifying carrot. Yeah. It was bad. It was bad. And it was a potato before that or something, wasn't it? Yeah, shooting like meatballs out of its mouth. Meat, there was a potato shooting meatballs. Potato meatballs. was easy to get rid of, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but then that carrot, yeah. yeah. The carrot was annoying. Yeah. And carrot then we also had to deal with the pirate Ship. Yeah, the pirate ship that had the shark, dog sharks, dark sharks, a real shark, dark shark, dark sharks, <laughs> and ink, ink people. Remember the yeah, ink yeah, the ink things. Very strange up. game. Did we did we drop some acid yesterday? <laughs> so, courtesy of Microsoft. <laughs> That, that's actually when we went, uh, we got inside. You know what? Maybe there wasn't this giant building with glass and rolling doors and shit. <laughs> you know, was, they sprayed some shit in our face when we walked up the stairs. We just tripped out, man. Yeah, like, you've been scarecrowing. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah. Why did I think about that? Did there was there a trailer? Yeah, yeah there's uh oh, the, 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 Gotham. Yeah, 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 the new Batman. <laughs> Art uh Knight. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Knight, Knight of Arkham again. So yeah, last night was party night, is where you were going before I told you to go back. There was. Yeah, last night was party night. So you, you didn't go to the first uh, YouTube. You just went to All right, yeah, you had to come here and work. Yeah, yeah. I, I had to run home, transfer footage. What else was there? Oh, I had to publish OMG Craft. Oh, that's yeah, right. that's right. Yeah. That's right, OMG Craft. So you went to the YouTube edit. thing. What was that about? Because I didn't go to that. Right, okay. Um, it was really about their cookies. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I have you a- came into the Twitch party and the first thing you did was show me a freaking heart cookie. You are so proud this of this cookie. damn cookie. I'm not proud of these cookies. I just thought it would be fucking hilarious to show up at the Twitch party and be like, where the fuck your cookies at, bitch? This, we got fucking cookies over at YouTube. This, it's the heart And you're talking about us being a cult. <laughs> I'm just, I thought it would be hilarious. I'm I, not, I am it. not serious with the whole, this cookie shit. How does this serious. bow work? It's Wait, not even what's on the back of it? What's on the back of it? Uh, the, the name of the people that made it? Sweeties. Sweeties. YouTube didn't make the damn cookies that you call grandma? No, they bought these cookies. Who the fuck? Uh, you realize, <laughs> you realize go to, this is go to all, the, all, the, all the cooking channels and call them all in. Uh, yes. Is there any, uh, what's that woman's name that just like popped out of nowhere? This is uh, the logo, by the way. Are you going to break that up so I can have some? No, I'm going to just eat my cookie. No, yes. I'm actually curious what it tastes like. I didn't even eat mine. I just wanted to break the Twitch. Oh, it, it will shit. not break. Oh god, YouTube. Oh, it's getting dirty. Oh, oh, that's fondant on top. Who wants fondant? Oh, eh. No, you don't. You don't know what it tastes like. I need like. like a knife. Well, just just rip it. Rip it. Are you gonna get crumbs oh. all right. over? That's fine. You yeah. know what? We can do this. We can handle this. This is very good. I'm just gonna bite this one. This is um, very crummy. So. Mm. Uh, tastes like a target. But we're out. <laughs> we're out. We done fucked up, boys. <laughs> we done screwed up. <laughs> you know, on Food Network, they teach you how to chew. <laughs> and, uh, they say you talk at the same time. You gotta they do a little jaw <laughs> ma- motion, right? You get up and just try that. Yeah, that's why. All three hosts can't eat at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> Don't talk. I'm gonna end up with. Is this shit gonna come out my nose? Should it come out his nose? <laughs> <laughs> this is a, we made a, we made a, a huge mistake. <laughs> Fucking YouTube's to blame. All three of us. Cut. <laughs> you, you can't just cut. They don't cut. channel or all three hosts have a fork and they all <laughs> no one has <laughs> nothing 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 <laughs> China <laughs> yes. Yes. and they just all kind of look at each other's channel emerald an emerald <laughs> Oh, God. Sorry, I was Minecraft. Oh, man. Uh, We're back. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All over a stupid cookie. <laughs> see? See? Like Fucking that. YouTube oh gold right God. there, man. YouTube gold. They oh knew what God. was up. <laughs> We're going to make a shitty cookie. <laughs> Give you guys a break. Let's thank our sponsor for this episode, Braintree. If you're searching for a moment, a mobile payment, I can't even talk, a mobile payment solution for your app or project, check out Braintree. Uh, they support all types of payments uh, Apple Pay, PayPal, Bitcoin, Venmo, all major Stop. credit cards. It's really hard to get through this. Uh, and you can have it set up in minutes. So just check out Braintree. Of all places to choose to uh, Listen, <laughs> I'm telling you. You don't want me to do an app? I don't know. What was the website? You were about to say. Braintree. Braintree. 
Payments.com slash Mindcrack uh, and to get started today. Uh, check it out. And Just five lines of code. Five lines of code. You're up and running. Uh, you'll also get, if you use uh, RaintreePayments.com slash Mindcrack, your first $50,000 of it's only five lines of code? Only five lines of code. If you call them, they'll help you integrate it into your yeah. app. Fifty thousand dollars of transactions free free. Got fee free. So the I don't want to just. Things. I don't, it's only five lines of code to make it so you can pay for. Yeah. The yes. To yeah. start. To, yeah. That's easy. It's yeah. like it's all an API, so you just. Break it's, it it's all by PayPal, so it's a uh, stretch of coming. Yeah. Um. So, anyways, nights parties. Uh, <laughs> uh, now that the cookie's done, the cookies, I thought I was giving you a break there. Uh. Hmm. Aren't you glad I broke that so cookie that was, now? That, <laughs> that's how the cookie crumbles, Chad. Uh, <laughs> I got this <laughs> So, yeah. so was that the first? That was the first party of the night. Yeah. So, w- yeah. What, what was it like? Um, it was interesting. I I went uh, mainly because I wanted to see. I, I was hoping that they were going. It was going to be an opportunity to network with the people at YouTube Gaming. That was going to be a mixer. Yes, I was expecting a mixer. Um, it was a. Uh, it was not a mixer. It was uh, it was a party, like you you know. You know. Oh my god, the Xbox you mentioned something party. about the elevator. Okay, so we get in. Um, it was just me and. Uh, just do I say names? Sure. D- okay. Drew. 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 We have a cameraman now. Yeah, Drew's been helping uh, me with. It. Drew is the person who helps me shoot chat on the street, mm-hmm. and he's been hanging out do with you us do all that? the time. Yeah. How awkward is that? Is that awkward? Like, <laughs> is that awkward when you're like hovering over these people? No, I'm used to it at this point. I mean, doing... He does a lot of porn. Yeah, all right. And, uh... <laughs> and that shit awkward. gets awkward. <laughs> Nothing's awkward at this point. Um... No, I just ruined it. Just, it's just like... Um, <laughs> he's not a porn cinematographer. Um, not for you, maybe. Mm-mm. Uh, so yeah, so Drew, Drew so, was here. All right, so we, else was, was it you? It was just me and Drew. That was it because Sevidus was going to the uh, Twitch party, and you came back here to work, and uh, Juice was already there. Um, so we get in and uh, you, get, you know get checked or whatever, and go to the elevator, and there's the you know elevator man. He tells us that the top floor is the um, is the rooftop, but he recommends going to the second floor because it has everything the top floor has with a lot less people. Um, so we get up. We, so we, no, no, no one listens. <laughs> no one. This is an ele- a huge elevator filled. Probably 15 people or so in an elevator. Well, you don't want to go where there's nobody, especially if you're looking for people to exactly, talk to. Exactly. You want exactly. Exactly. So uh, we, we all, all 15 of us in the elevator ignore his suggestions <laughs> and we get up on the top floor. And it was, I mean, you couldn't move. It By was, top floor, do you mean like. On the roof. roof. You're on the roof. Yeah, you can see the city and everything. Um, wow. Was it cold? No, it wasn't bad actually because there was so many people that they were kind of blocking the wind. And everyone's breathing, letting off heat. <laughs> Gross. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I'm so glad it's so warm. You breathe on me a little bit more. <laughs> Getting a little chilly over here. Why don't we have a conversation? <laughs> so uh, you get out of the elevator, and um, there's a DJ over here to the right. Lots of people. Um, just lots of people, lots of people. I didn't see anyone I knew, so we walk. We kind of, we kind of do a little loop, walk through those people. Uh, then there's like a indoor area that connects the two out, outdoor areas. It's like a big, huge bar area, like a wooded bar area. We walk through that again. Don't see anyone. And I this is all packed. Like, this seems I mean, humongous. It is a very big area. Um, yeah, really. Uh, but yes, it's very, very packed. Just everybody. Got it. Um, pretty sure I got pregnant. Even. Really? Wow. Yes. Um, really? Yeah, he's he's. I, I will have you two baby. What are you doing? I guess not. Uh, I'm gonna name it Etho. Um, oh, <laughs> <laughs> the, the second one, not the. Well, never mind. Oh, this this is, this is a really old joke. Someone once had a baby named Etho. Anyways, uh, yeah. Anyways, we're moving on. Moving on. Um, <laughs> You're like I'm looking at you, internet. Why? Do you, <laughs> why you make a baby name Etho? <laughs> so, um, did you ever meet anybody you knew? No. Juicera? I did eventually. Okay. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay. But not on the but top floor. Like no, no, no. Uh, so we, so we, so we go, go through the wooded bar area, then there's another, the, another outdoor uh, rooftop area. They have like a big pool. Well, not a big pool, like a jacuzzi-sized pool, I would say, with a YouTube logo down the bottom. Uh, and then a picture wall with YouTube logo uh, above that. Um, Who's... Can I just ask? You know a lot of people in gaming on YouTube. Who the hell was there if you didn't know anybody? <clears throat> yeah. Um, like, I did actually, right before we left the pool area, I saw Sky. 
Um, okay. But he was like, way over there. And I was like, it's not worth going over to say hi. I'll probably see him at the Twitch party later. Yeah. Um, which you did. Which <laughs> I did, which I did. You did, yeah. Uh, so, uh, I did Who see... Who was all these? I saw Gavin. Um, he, was, he was talking to some people over there. So, Rooster Teeth was there. Were all these people content creators, do you think? Or were they all... Uh, I think I think it was a good percentage. I think the majority were content creators. It was pretty different. No, no, no. Based on... That's what I think. Uh, based on what I saw, I think that uh, it was mostly other type of content creators. The the yeah. the, 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 the The average dress code was... M- Higher than where I dress, um, most people were wearing you know suits or not not necessarily suits but like a dress shirt at least nice, or a blazer jacket whatever you want to call it. Um, I noticed a lot of the promotions that they were doing at their booth were using people that are right. gamers. <laughs> yeah, basically, yeah. <laughs> no, no, they're yeah. they're using like people that are not known for gaming on YouTube, just really high profile people, right? That they right. just want to get there for promotion purposes, but yes. they don't do games at all, right? Right. So was that like a lot? Um, think, I did play? see. Um, oh God, I, I hate myself for not remembering his name because <clears throat> we did the thing with him, uh, Grant the Auto streamer, on YouTube. You don't, uh, you're you're about. He's with Broadband. We did the stuff in Vancouver together. Oh, I talked to him too. I don't remember his name though. Ah, damn it! Oh, saw, really his, name, his name, his name, is Andre. I know his real life name. I can't remember his YouTube name. That's I saw him no at the booth too. Right? Um, yeah, yeah. I saw yeah, him at the booth that day, but I saw him at the at the YouTube party. But he was outside. We didn't see him once we got inside. Um, anyways, so we, we basically do the loop as we're leaving. I thought I saw Lydia walking in, but we were like, it was already. I turned to him and I was like, I think that was Lydia. I <laughs> don't know because uh, it was just so crowded. So we get out of there. I was like, let's go see what's on the second floor. Um, maybe maybe I'll see someone I know down there. So we get to the second floor, and... <laughs> was it actually dead? I'm not even... I, I can't even describe to you guys. I'm going to try, though, how dead it was. So you walk out, and the floor space is the same as the one upstairs, but they had the second or even closed off where there was no reason to go in there because the only people in there were c Natters, Joostra, and one other guy. There was five people working one bar, three people behind the other bar, and six people walking around with hors d'oeuvres. For the three of them... <laughs> And us too then, after that. That's pretty awesome. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It was, I mean, so we basically stood there for maybe an hour or so and just kind of hung out and chatted with Justra, Nanners, and then other guy whose name I never got. Um, but as far as opportunity to talk to anyone that works at YouTube, Nothing. none of that. No, none of that. It was another very loud party. Let's show the second floor. The second floor was fantastic. I mean, honestly, we could have stayed there all night and, and hung out because we left there to go to the Twitch party, which was the loudest thing I've ever experienced in my life. Well, we had a lot of communication issues, first of all. Right, um, right. You and I. Yeah. Because you were texting me, telling me that you were coming, yeah. but the only place that there was service <laughs> was in the back bathrooms. <laughs> so, like, every five or ten minutes, I would, like, walk back there and just be like, oh, did you talk to me? Yeah. You know, yeah. just check. Yeah. And uh, there was at one point, it was at, like... They also did their badges way differently. Yeah, normally we get our badges early on at a That's convention, true. and we have our badge ready, we're ready to walk in, here's our wristband, here we go. This here was not it is. that. Uh, all of a sudden, at one time, I get <laughs> nine, messages, <laughs> nine messages from Goo. Uh, and it, it goes, is there a VIP line? We're outside with millions of people. We don't know how to get inside. Could you bring us bands or what gets us outside? There's three of us. Uh, you know, is there hope or should we bail? Never mind this. Uh, blah, 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 blah. And, and, and I just tweet, I just tweet, or I didn't tweet, I just text, I'm coming. <laughs> I'm just like hoping that you got that. Yeah, I, which I didn't, I showed you my full layer, you showed me, I'm like, I didn't even get that shit. Oh, God. Uh, and so anyway, I ran downstairs, and I'll be honest, I just took them. <laughs> like, those are ours. I just, I just, you know. And, uh, I mean, they saw me take them, so they were yeah, cool yeah. with it, I guess. And, uh, and I walked outside and just grabbed you guys when we came inside yeah. to literally the loudest Twitch party I have ever I, I'm been sad to. that I won't have those uh, sound, like, ear sounds. Like, what right, you, right. Yeah, now that I've it, it's sad hearing. that you're partially deaf. Yeah, we're, we're all legally deaf now, yeah, basically. I'm, I'm really sad that I don't have that hearing anymore. So you guys came during the second Good party, DJ though. set. The first yeah, DJ did. set was crazy because it was apparently, I found out after, it was a brother and sister set. They both had pink hair, and they were fighting during the show to the point where the girl threw a drink. I watched her throw a drink on her brother and storm off. 
and like they were they were like pushing each other away, trying to get into the you know into the knobs. I was like, is this part of the act, or is this like or is this real? Off? Yeah. And she walked up the stairs ex- right past where I was, and her face was livid. She was drunk and pissed. Wow. Like she was not happy. So that whole set was off. The transitions were terrible. Weird. Most of it was pre-mixed. Which is lazy as shit. I mean, I, I can see down there because I've spent enough time at least looking at DJs do their thing that all they were doing was turning volume knobs and, right. and that's it. It was all pre-mixed. The thing was entirely pre-mixed. And it was just mind-blowing that this was here. It's like, if this is the quality of like what we're getting here, we're screwed. Yeah. Thankfully, the two next acts that they came in that did the final really four good. hours were awesome. And, and the uh, lighting, like, I was impressed. They had a big video wall. The lighting was crazy. And then they had a big lighting, the, the great lighting with robotics. And then lasers. It's, and it's really great. nitrogen flying yeah, out. Yeah, and they did it really well because it wasn't all just, like, all at once. Like, I, like it wasn't I, – I think I was there for 45 minutes before we were, like, whoa, lasers. Yeah. You know? That, and then – And then, like, even – well, it was even towards the very end. Then the disco ball turned then the on. the disco ball, the yeah. And, and then, and then, like you know, an hour, an hour, and the confetti yeah. went off for the first time. And then it went off a few more times after that. And then, and then cool. the nitrogen, like the first time the nitrogen happened, like I was seriously like, "The hell's going?" Oh, okay, this is part of the. <laughs> like, I feel like it was the closest thing that's been like a show like yeah. it felt like you were just there for a show of these DJs right because you obviously couldn't hear each other right, right. well you were on your phone I, yeah we, we pulled up my note three I, I listened to the vine and it you can't quite tell how oppressive the sound was it was obnoxious this is not my scene I know no. that it was your I, scene at the end of the night well I finally gave in you basically out, with the yeah. little yeah. 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 Fucking things, but no. I mean, we still didn't stay till the end, but uh, no, it was kind of dying. I don't know. I don't know. I don't like really loud events. I guess I like to be able to talk. Yeah, yeah. We can, you cannot talk. Like talking was out of the question, but for a show, it was a good show. Yeah, minus the first. The question is, is we we did not. I saw a lot of tweets about the dot party. Yeah, we, we did not we go didn't to that. Get that in time. No. Unfortunately, no. But that looked really cool. They had some amazing. Sort but that of was definitely a show too. Right? Yeah. It would have been the same thing. Yeah. It's a show. These right. both of those are shows. Both times I've gone to the dot party, I did not enjoy myself at all. But both times I wasn't VIP, so yeah, I mean, it's just here. hanging out with hallways with a bunch of puking nineteen-year-olds, and was, the only thing there is like beer. I don't know. Not the not the trash on it. I'm just saying I I I haven't enjoyed those in the past. Uh, but this one would probably there was no party part. tonight. Yeah. Well, there was. Oh well, we there, we could definitely go still. We really wanted to go to the war gaming party. Oh god. We're not. We're not. <laughs> and and tomorrow end. night things yeah. are ending, so I don't think there's anything going on tomorrow. I think so. Night. No. To my knowledge. No. Um. So, party, party stuff. And the day was very busy. With uh, where did we start today? We started two K. <clears throat> well, no, we're, we're from honest. Extra Life to two K. All right. <clears throat> And we checked out a Civilization, Beyond Earth, the new expansion pack. And that was cool. You did your first interview today. Oh, God. How, the heck, how was that? I'm so, sorry, everyone that has to watch this. It's great. It was great. I need Basically, a... I had this... I, so, for those of you who don't know, because I haven't really posted any videos because I haven't been able to edit them, this might even go up before some of those videos, is like, I have an idea of what... Minecraft at E3 will be, and it's all the various Minecrackers interviewing, like, cool stuff that they find, and I I wanted you to do one, <clears throat> and so we were gonna do it with, uh, Battle Battleborn, yeah. not Bloodborne, Battleborn. But they wanted to play it. And, but they wanted yeah, to yeah, play, play it tomorrow first, so. And you, you were also, it, it had a little bit of stress that, he, like, no one knows anything about the game. And so you kind of have to... I didn't know that. See, I didn't know anything about the game. I knew I didn't know anything about the game, and I didn't want to put myself in a situation where I was like a fool, um, was my biggest thing. And uh, I... So anyway, this, this is, is why it. I'm forcing Lou to do an interview. Well, chat. I mean, I, I... You know, I guess I want to help out type of right. thing. Uh, 
because so we're trying to we're trying to let people know what goes on at these conventions. Not yeah. and it's not just you know standing around in boots or whatever. There's a lot of stuff that you can see and Do, learn talk about. To, yeah, yeah. Um, and there's a lot of stuff that we can see that we can share with other people that it's, it's useful for them. Right. Um, so I see the benefits and this type of stuff we're trying to bring to you guys and uh, want to be a part of that. My problem is I have anxiety and I don't know how to deal with that when it comes to like in person. That's why I sweat so bad. It's not like, I don't know, it's not because it's warm. It's just, I don't know. I don't know how to, I don't know, get, that, get, yeah. get that shit out of my head. Um, well, so you, the interview that you chose to do. Right. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. 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 Like, like we were just kind of walking around. I, was, I saw the curse booth and I was like, you know what? I know those people. I I I talk to them. What's frequently. funny? Remember, we were, I was literally like, okay, our mission for the next forty minutes is to walk around this hall and find a friendly yeah. that we can get the first interview out of the ballot. And we friendly. Ra- and we round the corner. There's the cursed booth. It yeah. was like, oh, uh, uh, mission accomplished. <laughs> yeah, and so I go up and I was like, is Donovan here? Is, and they and they they, they go and grab Donovan and bring him out. And um, so I was like, I was like, you know, you want to talk about the the, the cursed voice thing? And we've been using it for agrarian skies, and. I was feeling good and everything, and I, I tell him because uh, I I think of him like someone that I, I mean we're not like best friends or anything, but someone that I you know him yeah right. And I'm like you know I'm really nervous about this. I haven't done interviews before, and I'm just kind of freaking out. Um, I was like I was like so just so you know he's like I'm not nervous at all, man. I'm ready to talk. And I was like okay, that makes me feel even better. <laughs> Thanks, Donovan. <laughs> uh, so Chad and Drew work out a good location for everything. Which we realized after we recorded everything oh was God. a terrible location. It wasn't, wait, wait, ter- it wasn't terrible. Oh, it so wasn't basically, terrible. We, we, we go around three fourths of the curse yeah. we try to find a good logo, and we find a subtle like logo one that's way lighting, higher. and like there's not too much audio. We were right next to like the Blizzard booth or something. That so we went to the back side. Super loud. Yeah, we went to the back side. Yeah, so we go to the back side, and we think we find something. And we frame it, and they kind of have to be like kind of away from the booth for us to, to get, get the logos in and stuff. And it was a little awkward, but it wasn't that big of a deal. But if we would have gone that last one fourth away around the booth, it was booth like right not there. only was there great lighting on a sign at eye level, but it was also the branding for cursed cursed voice, which they were talking about, and there was no sound. It was oh, super yeah. frustrating. Yeah, it was pretty funny. Yeah, but so uh, you got there. And then you just did it, or yeah, yeah, I got through it. Um, there's gonna, it's probably the most, e- it gonna be the most edited of all the interviews. <laughs> well, you just gonna leave all that shit in? No, no, I mean, I've there's more most. There's a oh no, I mean, not I mean from this thing, this thing, because all these all the interviews that you. have Well, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Like the Sony stuff, you put a lot of editing right, in, right, but right. I mean, I'm saying you didn't like right, the interview. I didn't flub. Right, 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 right. There, but you didn't even flub either. It's like it's fine. What happened to you? Nothing. All he does. No, nothing. What do you mean? mean? Well, you're treating it like you just like. No, I mean, I just started pouring sweat. I mean, I just started. I was drenched. He goes over to the Bethesda's booth. He's like, You guys got any napkins? And <laughs> no, so, I did and not ask Did you like really? That. Yes, yes. I did not ask you. Yes, and then I she leaves. She's, she's like, Okay, okay, is like, okay, okay emergency, I got it. We're on fire. No, and no, she, no, she no, leaves. No, Seriously? Yes, yes. She leaves and she's like gone for like five minutes or something. Okay, so, okay. So I walked over. I walked over to their media booth because I have a press badge, so they're allowed to talk to me. And I said, hey, <laughs> they're allowed. I, I said, could you do me a huge favor? I'd love a napkin or some sort of like tissue. Tissue. And she goes, oh yeah, I'm happy to get that. And she leaves. But then she's gone for a long time. And, and they're getting ready. They're like ready to do the thing. And I need to go back over. I still had the microphone and stuff. And I'm like, what if I leave? Like she's gonna come back from this epic journey, and I'm not even gonna be here. And did she, she complete the quest? She did. She, she got finally the completed the quest and came back with napkins. And I was like, thanks. I don't care at all about your game. What Goodbye. was her reward? Uh, I gave her my card. Well, that's a shitty reward. Yeah, it was not that great. Um, no, that's like one of those quests and wow that you learn once and never to do it again. Yeah, it's yeah. not worth the reward. Right, like the dailies. Yeah, exactly. One of the shitty dailies. Yeah, You're like, that's dailies. not worth my 15 Super daily slots. Um. Yeah, so you got me the napkins, I did the thing, and we talked about Curse Voice, which is something we're already using anyway, so it, was, it really shouldn't have been a big deal, but uh, hopefully it looks alright, and you guys can learn a little bit more about what Curse Voice is when it comes out. Cool. It's out. Right now. How is it? It's in beta. No, I meant... No, the, vi- no, the video. video! I was oh, like, God. Get, like, go God. download Curse Voice now, no, like, no, what are you waiting no. on? No. Um, what else? Uh, so after that... We got access to the extra life room 
Oh, that's amazing. Which is pretty sweet. Yeah, but well, that wasn't just then. I mean, we've, that we've had yeah, 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 yeah. But that's 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 really that's awesome. Cool. We have like a view where we can look down on top of the world. Do we want to now? No, we're doing that in those other videos. Oh. Yeah, well, that's not not in this. Not now. This is wrong. Spoiler video. alert. The other today, that day, same day. Today we oh, did. Um, I don't know, assumed. Uh, well, we have to record them still. <clears throat> we don't need to record. Okay. Don't you remember? I thought you recorded after I left. No, yeah. no, that other guy had to go. Remember, he was because he had to wait for Forbes to do. Anyways, um, <clears throat> today we, did this at, out. at the end we went to Nintendo, <clears throat> and we watched the level editor. What was it? What's the actual name of that? Mario editor. Mario Mario Maker Mario Maker Mario Maker Mario Maker and so what I didn't realize about Mario Maker is that every time I had seen it before now it was just the classic Mario world being made I didn't realize it's it's there's four versions of Mario it's Mario Mario 2 Mario for the Super Nintendo which is what Super Mario Super, yeah Super Mario World Super Mario World right and uh, Mario Wii U and we we stood there for at least thirty minutes and watched a demo. I just watched it. It was so cool. It is amazing. It is so so. What good. is this? It is. So, it is. So I I had to run to do Gizwood, so I wasn't with you guys at this point. Yeah. So um, this Mario Maker, um, it was announced a little while back, but we haven't actually got to see so it. So is really. this a game that you buy no, or something you download? No, no, it's for the Wii U. You use the gamepad. And it looked like they had a stylus. Is there a stylus? For yes, yeah, there is. Yeah. Yeah. Where's it at? Yeah. It's um, like built in. Yeah. So like that. I've never used my stylus. Yeah, it's it's right. Here. Well, now you have a reason. Huh. There you go. Huh. Mm. I had no idea. So yeah, they use the stylus yeah. and the So the yeah, controls. like on the screen here, pretend like you're like looking at like a yeah, Mario world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, you just you don't like paint. You like grab a block and drag. Yeah, it you just grab and you just draw well, it on. It's, it's it basically so opens a menu. Intuitive. You click on right. what you want, and then you you know you draw it basically whatever mm -hmm. it is. And it's the thing that got me about it was, <coughs> oh God, how in depth it is. Like, can I download it now? It I don't ridiculous. know. That's don't what we know. don't know. I don't know if it's out. I don't but, think it is. If it is, you should get it. But I don't think it is. It's, it's super it'd be in the depth, store. It'd be in the share. store. Um, you can share it like with your friends. Right. The cool stuff. thing to me was that you can you can force Mario to play it through, yeah. um, almost Wait, like Mario I/O. Oh, really? Um, I think I didn't see were no, they actually playing. playing. Were they think, playing? Yeah, okay, playing it wasn't it. clear to me. They're playing it, but it shows after you, you die with it, you can see all the trails, so you know where to put platforms and things huh. like that. It's really really cool, and like there's things you can do that I would have never even thought of. Like you can take. Uh, Bowser's ride. What is it? What is it called? Mario Maker. Mario Maker. You can take Bowser's little ride and shake him out of it and put something else into it. Mm -hmm. And so you can have and you can super size the same it thing with the um, uh, the same thing with all the all the 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 tubes all the tubes you can put anything you yeah, want in those you can put uh, the same with the clouds you can put anything in anything basically. Um, yeah, we so know they, they demoed trailer. the uh, fire flower yeah. going up and down a freaking right. tube like the, one of those plants. I mean, they did some crazy shit too. You remember the the like the little the, the black thing is like a boing, boing, yeah. and they like try to bite you. Yeah, uh, actually, that that's the sound that the, the, the football the, men make. But whatever. whatever. Um, uh, so, <laughs> are you? Are you? Is that? I'm watching the trailer. It's just hilarious. They took those. Uh, it, it doesn't and look like it's available yet. Yeah. yeah. Um, it is. It really is just fantastic. And the thing that excites awesome. me the most, um, I mean, especially for someone like you, you sit there, you stream it, you make your level, and then you put that shit up for your all your viewers to download and play. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, I think this is a big selling point for the Wii U right now. Uh, I mean, not, not that it really needed. I mean, it's really the Wii U is suddenly kicking it, kicking ass. Like basically, the Wii U. Has been some kind of it's like dark of horse, mature, right? Yeah. It's like a dark horse that they no one saw coming. Like with uh, Mario Kart, Smash Brothers, this. There's yeah. a lot of stuff that's making Wii U really awesome right now. This right. allows you to just be so creative with Mario. Yeah, it's 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 really cool. I can't wait for people that like we were talking at the beginning. I imagine people doing really really crazy things just with art. So mm. you just jump into a cloud. And you don't actually play the level, but somebody you design a level that's just like beautiful with like yeah. art pieces and stuff like that. <coughs> I'm trying to see if it, it just ever says available such and such. Yeah, that's what we kept looking for at E3, and we never did yeah, see September, September the 11th. 11th of 2015. There you go. It's like a really weird release date. 
Anyway. Mario, uh, I think Nintendo always releases theirs on the same day of the week. It's like a Tuesday or something, maybe? Uh, it is Tuesday. <coughs> they, a lot of people do press stuff uh, on Tuesday. Wow, okay, so in September. Um, so I'm excited for that. That's how we yeah. ended today, basically. Yeah, yeah, that was it, right? Yeah. And uh, tomorrow we got lots of I cool stuff. I can't believe stuff. that you guys didn't eat before you came over. You we did. We ate at 3 o'clock. We ate, we ate earlier because he was super hungry. So we left the convention. Oh. Ate. We, we left right. Because that was guy was still doing an interview at Extra Life. We I was left. hungry to bitch point. Like, yeah, you, know, you, yeah. Could have, you could have asked me, are you hungry? That's the thing we've been doing this week. Um, are you hungry? <laughs> I have That's not been doing that. I've been doing it. Cause when, you, when you're like grumpy, I guess, are you hungry? Oh, yes, yes. Chad's been really grumpy this whole weekend. The Week. first day, I was so stressed out. Yeah. I was a, I was a bitch. You, you were. were. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> and we all told him it didn't help. When someone's being an asshole, tell him, you, that help. And the, well, you said, you are like, I kept needling you. Well, I kept how, thinking that eventually... I no, no, it wasn't need... I did, okay, maybe needling was the wrong word, but I kept poking you into the hoping that you would realize, you're kind of being an asshole right now. Maybe you should stop. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but, uh... <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> He did, he did the stop, man. He's still... <laughs> <laughs> wow. Passive uh, aggressive here. Um, I mean, like, I don't even know... Yeah, it's so... It's funny because anyone who's... Like, you... Anyone can see how you're acting, but you. Yeah. Right? Everyone knows what's wrong with you, but you. Right. Because if you did, you'd fix I knew it. I was being a bitch. I didn't care. I yeah. was hungry. <laughs> yeah. I was... Yeah. I yeah. food. Like I'm, I'm just trying my best over here. <laughs> they, uh, they, uh, then we went. We basically, you know, chilled out at the hotel for a while here. Yeah, that's it. And tomorrow was a Side pretty full cool day. Two. We got two uh, K. Yep. Right in the morning. Yeah, extra um, life stuff. Extra, extra life. life and some Microsoft stuff. Mm-hmm. And we're hoping to play a drift. At I'm some really point, sad. It's the game that we both say is like the most excited thing that we want to play, and neither of us have made it over there. I know. I almost did it today without you. 505. Consider days. It. Oh my gosh, I would have been so upset with I you. know. But I'm so worried because tomorrow we're so packed that I'm so worried we're not going to have a time to do it. Really? Do you want to show up like right at 10? <sighs> do you think we can? I mean, we could try and try to get be like for early in line because otherwise we'll have to be at 2K at 11. Anyways. Yep. It's an hour. We have an hour to stand in line and get it. That in. line looks really long. I don't know. Yeah. Do you think anyone's going to show up right at 10? Though? Yeah. On the last day? Maybe. Three? I don't know. I'm going to be here for Anyways. That's about it, really. Yeah. That's, we have that's a big been our E3 on. so far. It's been a lot of fun. I, uh, I like this more than PAX for the part of PAX that is not hanging out with fans. Right. Yeah. I didn't realize how important coming here would be. The relationships we're it. making with people, like with industry people, not with fans, yeah. but with industry people, is really amazing. I can't wait till all the people out there get to see all this stuff. Like, so I, I mean, there's 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 a business still that was made at PAX that still isn't uh, known that people are going to be so excited about. Really? Yeah, you know see, what it is. And find today you found out who their parent company was, and you were shocked. I do know what it is, and it's exciting. Actually, yeah. it's really exciting. You guys, are, you're gonna find out about it really soon, though. Yeah, like, like a really should be soon, two weeks, basically. Yeah, yep, really, really soon. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, Anyways, that's anyway, it. Yeah. 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 Hope you guys enjoy. We'll see you later. See you next time on the podcast. Bye. Bye.